a Virgo, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back to do your first half of January 2020 Terrascope reading, baby. And crowning your reading is the justice in reverse. So it's looking like somebody is facing an injustice here, okay? <sighs> somebody is on guard, on defense. I really do feel like somebody is on defense, and it's definitely in terms of settling down or going further than just the first steps of a relationship. I do feel like one of the partners in this connection, and it is a soulmate connection because I do have the emperor and the empress, and it's like you guys have your backs turned to each other, but you're looking at each other. So it's like you guys are totally in each other's radar, but right now I feel like you guys are of opposing energies, okay? And one person might be fully ready for to commit in this relationship and another may not be and they may not be expressing that. And that's the reason why it's coming up as an injustice because essentially it's somebody that's omitting the truth, not really necessarily expressing that um, they're still in limbo as to whether they want to go to the next level with the situation here. Now, eventually, I do feel like this person is going to make up their mind. But right now, this person is still trying to seek what it is, seek the knowledge that they need in order to move forward with this situation. And with this, I feel as though the Empress energy is really ready to build. You know, they waiting for their ships to come in with this Emperor. They're waiting. I feel like they already picked a path. It's decisions being made all over the board. But with her waiting for her ships to come in, I feel like the Empress is growing complacent, bored. And I see a ship here, but it must not be the one that she wants. So I feel as though the Emperor is giving an offer. It's just not one that the Empress feels is um, quite worthy of her wishes. So let's just see what's going on, Virgo. Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first half of January. 2020. Mm. Yes, two people that's definitely not agreeing here with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. And it's causing um, for you two to not get along very well. It's like I said, you guys are opposing energies, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So really it's putting you guys at risk of be, of passing up something that can be long-term and stable because one of these, one of the energies, well not one of the energies, but the male or the masculine energy is not really ready to give that offer or to go further than page level. So with this, it's like somebody else is pulling back their love and that could be the Empress here. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Horizon for the first half of January 2020. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Horizon for the first half. I just saw the High Priestess. So again, that's the, the um, Emperor kind of keeping... His fear and defensiveness on a back burner. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there's a sense of disloyalty here. Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups as well as the King of Swords in reverse. So that's the that's where the injustice is coming in. Is that somebody is portraying themselves to be a King of Cups energy, but in reality, they're a King of Swords energy. And this doesn't have to be necessarily narcissistic energy in this situation. But if you are dealing with a narcissist or, if, you know, you're dealing with somebody that, you know, it seems like things are kind of off with them because they're acting essentially... Um, loving but they don't want to settle down then it's either because this person isn't confident enough or because they a straight up freaking liar yeah but yeah it's definitely this king of cups energy that's kind of pretending and you know um acting as though they giving more but they they want to stay single right now they don't want to move things to the next level with the empress right now and they might have gotten left out in the cold because, <laughs> yeah, they definitely are. So there's a sense of nostalgia here. 
And this could be to come back to you, you know, the King of Cups. If you got so tired and complacent and bored of waiting for the Emperor to come in or for this King of Swords and the uh, King of Swords in reverse, King of Cups energy, uh, if you got so tired of waiting for your ship to come in with them, you could have decided to move on and withdraw your love from the situation. And now this person, I don't know, maybe they're trying to figure out what to do, but they definitely haven't fond thoughts about y'all memories, you know, and perhaps maybe even wondering why they turned down the opportunity to give you the Ace of Pentacles, because we do have that on the board here, but it's in an upright. So I feel like your offer still stands, but you won't deal with him otherwise. Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, let's see. I didn't even concentrate. Um, this is three of pentacles in reverse for Virgo. Sun, moon, and rising for the first half of January spirit. Three of pentacles in reverse spirit. Yeah. Somebody doesn't want to not be getting along like this. It's against somebody's wishes. Bad health in reverse. I feel like this is somebody trying to approach the situation in a more healthy manner so that it can be a long-lasting situation. Yeah, this person does want to be with you, Virgo. And that's a three card. So this person does want to work cohesively with you instead of, you know, missing out on this Ten of Pentacles with you. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Um, the Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay, so yes, this person was not surrendering to the journey, being with you. But it's looking like positive change is coming. I don't know if you got Capricorn in your, your chart or what, but positive change was the name they're reading too. So why is the Ace of Cups here, Spirit, in reverse? Oh, look, okay, from that withdrawn love. I feel like it's going to be a sense of new hope revived here. When the emperor steps forward, it would be unblocked. Like all of this lack of love energy will be unblocked. Secrets need to be revealed. Um, this king needs to be clear. King, empress, whatever. I mean, king, emperor, whatever. They need to be clear on what it is that they want. Okay, why is the queen of pentacles here in reverse spirit? That's definitely that un, you know, sometimes it could come off as a gold digger or gigolo or, you know, somebody that's not quite being uh, honest and faithful. Yes. Okay. So this, this person not sharing the knowledge, like not sharing that info, that was what was stopping y'all from having that ultimate new beginning, being able to grow and go to the next level. So I feel like this person already has identified the fact that they're a problem in the situation. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Wow. Once again, change. I think you guys are a Virgo. I mean, a Capricorn. Wow. Okay. This person is going the distance. And they if they stay a distance, if they stay a distance from you, they are definitely traveling to come see you, Virgo. But I feel like this person has matured. During a time of you all not speaking, they have leveled up. They have matured. Why is the King of Cups here? So that could be why the King of Cups is here. Because they actually are reapproaching the situation as a more loving individual. Yeah, because they tired of being without you. Shoot, they feeling emotionally bankrupt. They feeling bankrupt from love. And they don't want to feel like that anymore. They want to fill their cup and take it to fill your cup. Because they know when their cup is empty, you definitely pouring into it. So, wow. The King of Swords in reverse is finally ready to make that, that offer because they felt trapped in their head here with imprisonment. And honestly, I feel like that's like taking a chance to go ahead and locking it down. Because this person probably looked at um, relationships as imprisonment before. And that's probably why they was afraid to settle down. Yeah. Yeah. So this person acting like they want to be single because they don't want to be obligated. They don't want it to be their job. They just want to come and go as they please. Or that, that was the old energy they was in. But once again, the false person came out in reverse. I really do think you are dealing with a Capricorn or you are you have Capricorn in your chart somewhere. Because this is so similar to the Capricorn reading. Seriously. 
But um, I'm going to pull you guys some oracles. And then after this, it's time to make my New Year's plate because I'm super hungry. Stomach was growling. <laughs> okay, let's see here. advice for Virgo Sun Moon Rising. Oracle advice for Virgo Sun Moon Rising. The first half of January embracing and relaxation. Wow. Yes, this person needs to embrace. And look, the stork again. Or this looks like a stork. Maybe it's a swan. I don't know. But it looks like that same card that was in there basically indicating growth in the situation. So this person needs to take a chill pill. Because I feel like they don't understand that true love. Yeah, trust the process also. You know, and it's a lot of night skies here and a lot of moon energy. So it's definitely illusions that need to be lifted. And if this person would just trust the process, if this emperor would just trust the process, they will see that there's fulfillment there. They'll get the fruits of their, their labor. And I can see that full moon there. So if this person would just let down their guards and stop, you know, living an illusion that they would definitely feel a lot better about the situation. So... I really hope you guys resonated with this reading. Thank you so very much for all the views on the last video, the last half of December. If um, you would like to join the Soul Tribe, please go ahead and do so by hitting that subscribe button right there. Ring that bell, comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Ciao.